Tag It Tuesday, I am going to go ahead and do a stamping color tag. And so I have my works board in front of me here. And for some reason, I have, uh, I don't know where my magnets went. So I'm going to use washi tape to hold my tag in place. And I'm going to stamp this girl on here. So let's start by holding the tag down in place with washi tape and figure out where we want her. I'm gonna line her up towards the bottom, I think. I'm not sure I really wanna cut her hair off, but I think, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do so it runs off the end. All right, I'm gonna pick it up with my platform. And then because I'm gonna color with alcohol ink, I don't want an alcohol-based um, stamp. I'm going to, or pad. I'm going to use uh, dye ink instead. This one that I'm using is black and it's from Simon Says Stamp, but really any dye ink would work fine. Okay, so let's give it a stamp and see if we need more than one. It's nice to use a platform Actually looks pretty good, but I think I'm gonna go one more time. What I was gonna say is it's nice to use a platform when you're stamping a big image because oftentimes you're not gonna get really good coverage. Um, I say that and then of course we got great coverage. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so here we go again. Let's just see if we can get our ducks a little darker. that looks good to me. I'm going to call that quits and then we'll move on here and try to take that washi tape with us if we can. Yep. All right. Let me move the platform out of the way. Now the um, alcohol ink markers I'm going to use are from Artify and I got them at Creativation, and I have a huge big box that they gave me. So um, I'm also going to bring in, I wanted to say, I was going to bring in a piece of scrap from this cardstock. Um, see where it went. There we go. Uh, just to test out my colors before I use them. So I've got, this is what they look like, and you have a fine tip and then a chisel tip on the other end. And so I'm just gonna, yeah, that's good for our skin tone. So we'll go ahead and start. So for the most part, she's done colored. I want to do a little blending around the outside of it. And I am using this um, hybrid rose apple color. And I think it's Hero Arts. I'm not positive on the logo that was there. Um, hmm, could be Simon Says. Yeah, I think it's Simon Says Stamp. All right, so I'm just gonna in here lightly and see how that looks. I'm working on a craft or a glass mat which is really nice because I can then go in and clean it off and not have to worry about my ink blending getting on the mat itself. All right so I think I've got a nice little pink glow there. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit more down here at the bottom. 
If you see some chunks coming off my brush, it's something stuck on my brush. I don't know what I got into, but it's coming off and not going on the card, so we're okay. Just darken up those corners a little. Yeah. All right, I'm going to call that finished. So there we go. Um, so this was our coloring tag for Tag It Tuesday. And we were using alcohol ink markers. And um, I think I'm going to go in and add just a little highlight on her eye. And let's take a look here and see. Do we want a crystal? Let's see what that looks like. Do we want to do a crystal? I don't know. It looks a little buggy, doesn't it? Or I'm thinking maybe just some Zazzle on there. So let me move that out of the way. And I'm just going to come in with this crystal Zazzle and add it right onto her eyes. Real subtle. Hardly shows except it will twinkle a little when we move the card. Now, if I really wanted to go even further, I could go in and add some gold pops in her hair. Let's just do this off to the side and see what it looks like, right? So, that's kind of what it would look like. I don't know, I'm feeling like that might just be too much for this. So I'm going to leave it at that.